Good evening. Good evening. Uh, who are you, Sandra? Hello. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, good. Hi, Patricia. Very, Very nice. good. Very nice. Oh, good. Is it raining there? Uh, here, yes. Over here, too. It is raining. Yes, with hurricane. Yeah. What's up, guys and girls? How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Is it, I know yeah. if it's raining, I can't feel it here, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyways, um, you are in your office, teacher. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm in my office today. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can notice, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yes, guys. How are you guys? How was how was today's date? <laughs> what? It's it's raining here, teacher. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. I think it might have been raining here, but it stopped, perhaps, you know? Yeah. It's good to see you. It's really good to see you. How was, um, how was work today? Everything very hard, teacher, awesome. very hard. Very hard? Yes, but it, it was, you know... Profitable. I got it. Yeah. I've had a pretty tiring day, you know. Yes. I'm really, 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 really tired. Um, but anyways, um, it's always good to see you guys. How's the platform? Did you finish it already? No. Yes. No yet. <laughs> no, <did you? laughs> Not yet. Yeah. No, only, only, I'm only, waiting only. a fabulous teacher. You what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm waiting for a fabulous teacher who 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 support today to in order to figure out the platform platform <laughs> platform right platform the platform. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome, awesome. All right, very good, guys. So, anyhow, so. All right, we'll we'll get there, guys. We'll get there, okay? No worries, no worries, no worries. Anyhow, uh -huh. um, Thank yeah, you. they say it's gonna rain. I, is it? Is it like? Is it a storm? Hmm. Over here has finished. It's already over. Yes, it's over. Uh, well, teacher, um, I have I I was uh, working very hard about the platform. And only one uh, number is missing. Only one number, you know. Only one number is missing. Yeah, in, in four point two exercise. No worries. No worries. Okay. All no. right. Huh. All right. Very good, guys. So, um, so let's let's talk. Okay. So, guys, we were talking yesterday about unreal conditionals, right? Present yes. and real conditionals, right? And what is that? What is a present and real conditional? What do we use it for? Imaginary situations. So we use them for imaginary situations, right? Imaginary situations, okay? Very good for things that we, you know, we wish we had, right? Things that, or things that we imagine, right? But like, you know, um, pretend to be situations, right? So, okay, so we can use them, guys. Instead of using on, you know, if, we can say unless, we can say only if, and we can say, you know, even if, right? And this is the part where for some people, you know, I don't know why, but for some people it might get complicated, right? So that's where we're going to be talking about today this is where this is what we're going to be going over today okay all right yeah. so um so anyways guys all right let's let's uh let's talk about that right 
So first of all, so we know we know already, right? What the definition of an unreal condition is, okay? So what is um so what is you know unless only if and even if, right? So you might have done the exercises already, but let's talk about that, guys. All right. So for okay, got it, Selena. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So let's talk about unless, guys. Okay. So unless, guys, where we're still gonna be talking about, you know, second conditionals or on real conditionals, right? Okay, so instead of if, guys, we can use unless, okay? And why are we going to use unless? We're going to use unless, guys, because unless, unless, guys, is, is the start of a condition, okay? This is how you start a condition, all right? So why, you know, would we use Unless in this situation. All right. So when we say unless, guys, we are going to be talking about. All right, let me change this. We're going to be talking about exceptions, okay? All right, so let me give you an example. Actually, guys, you give me an example because you know this part. So I want you to give me the main clause of an if clause. An example, guys. An example, but it has to be the main clause of an if clause. What would that be? If I have... If I have a lot of money. All right, so we're good. So if I had, right? No, but that's is that the is that the if clause or is that the main clause? Because I want the main clause, the, the main clause, right? Okay. All right, so I want the main clause. So what would the main clause be? I want you guys to give me the main clause, okay? So what would it be? I would like I would like to go to the party unless Okay, very good. So all right, so now do my favor guys. Stop saying I would like and it's not will guys is would. Don't, don't say I would like. All right, this is really bad, guys. When you say it's okay to say I would like, but people overuse it when you're learning English. I'd, I'd like, okay. No, I'd do not like. use, do not say like, okay. I, I, I. So okay. I what? I. I'd. I want. I what? I want. I. I'd, I'd want. Yes. I'd want what? To go so to I'd the party. What? I'd want to go to the party? Yes. To the party, all right? So I would want to go to the party. No. Let's change the verb, guys. I'd go to the party, all right? Very good. I'd go to the party. All right, so this is, this is guys, the main clause, right? So I'm missing the... the the if clause, but in this case, guys, instead of is instead of if, I, I, we're gonna unless. use just listen, guys. We're gonna use unless, right? So instead of if, guys, we're gonna use unless. Okay, so so now how do we use this? Okay, you can say I'd go to the party unless. Come okay. on, right? Unless it's unless it's uh, unless it's, it's raining. raining, right? Unless, unless it, it, we can say unless it rains, right? All right, unless it rains, unless it rains, right? I'd go to the party unless it rains. Now, notice that there is something very different here from uh, from this and second conditional. What is the difference? 
On um, this is wrong, right? Unless it rained. Rained. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we can also say, and this I guys means I would, right? I would go to the party mm -hmm. unless it rained, right? It would does that make sense, guys? Mm -hmm. This sentence sounds more like a like it would work on on a, on a first condition, right? Like yeah. I'll go to the party, right? Unless, Unless it rains. Now this makes more sense, right? So no, we're not gonna use that. Okay, let's say unless it unless what? You know what? I would right. I would go to the party. Yes. Right. Unless, unless what? Unless I, I haven't been invited. You invite him? Unless, I would go to the party unless I. I haven't be, be I invited. Were, you can't say I haven't been, mm, right? I, unless I weren't invited. Can I say this? Yeah. All right. So I would go to the party unless I, I, weren't, I weren't invited, right? And I can say, unless I weren't. And by the way, guys, here, should we use a comma? Unless I weren't invited. Unless no. I weren't invited. Comma, I would go to the party, right? Very good. So here, no, we're not gonna use a comma here, but yes, we're gonna use it. Unless I weren't, <laughs> I weren't invited, I would go to the party, right? Now, shouldn't it say unless I weren't invited, I wouldn't go to the party? Or I would. What? What is? What is better here, guys? What am I trying to say here, guys? <laughs> Uh huh. Uh, unless I weren't invited, I wouldn't go to the party. I wouldn't, or I would. Okay, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. And the second. The second one. On the second one. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Okay, right. Even if we were to translate this, guys, iría la fiesta. Right. A menos que no... No fuera invitado. A menos que no fuera invitado, right? Iría. Shouldn't it be like the other way around? I wouldn't go to the party? Unless I weren't invited? It's better. Um, <laughs> if I were invited. A menos invite. que no fuera invitado. No. Have sense? Yes. Guys, which one, make, which one makes sense, okay? I wouldn't go to the party unless I weren't invited. It's too negative, no. Unless I were invited. I were invited. I wouldn't go to the party unless I were invited? I suppose. Were. So, no iría a la fiesta a menos que, que, que me hubiese invitado. <laughs> no. I wouldn't go to the party unless I were invited. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, this makes sense, right? This makes sense. So, all right, this is better, right? And I can say, right, unless, right, unless I were invited, I wouldn't go to the party, right? So basically, guys, we're using the same structure of a second conditional, right? What else can I say? Um, I could say I would... I would tell your mom unless you stopped me. And no comma, right? I would tell your mom unless you stopped me. What about this, guys? Is this correct? Tell your mom unless you stopped me. Tell what? Is it I would or I wouldn't? 
I wouldn't tell. I wouldn't tell your mom unless you stopped me. No le diría a tu mamá a menos que me pararas. Or le diría a tu mamá a menos que me pararas, right? I would tell your mom unless you stopped me. Well, but I remember, would. but remember, but remember, guys, that this is exception. This is an exception, right? <laughs> okay. So this is like okay, you know, I would tell your mom, lady to mom, right? Unless you do something about it, right? Unless you stop me, okay? So yeah, we can say this. Like technically, guys, we can say Bob, both. Bob, yes. Yes, right. I I will tell you, mom. I um, yo te diría, mamá. All right, but no, don't try to translate, okay? Basically, guys, what I want to show here is that we're using unless for exceptions, right? All right? And we can use uh -huh. it at the beginning or at the beginning of you At the beginning, all right? We use it at the beginning of, of each class, okay? Now, this is basically so because we're going to change our decision, okay? We have, I would keep a secret unless my co-worker continued lying about it, right? It says in the example that we got in the platform, guys, we have some of these, right? I would keep a secret. I would keep it a secret. It says I would keep it a secret, right? So it says I would keep it a secret unless my co you know, my co-worker. Um, uh, there's my coworker continued lying about it, right? Continued lying about it, okay? So I would keep it a secret unless my coworker continued lying about it. If you were to translate this guy's exactly, that would be lo mantendría un secreto a menos que mi compañero, right? Continuara metiendo secreto, right? Okay. okay, so there's something. Hey, the only way I'm not gonna do this, the only way I'm not going to do this, and this is this is what I'm saying, right? The only way I wouldn't do this is if, okay. Basically, the only way I would keep it, I would not keep it a secret, right? Is if my coworker continued lying about it. Okay. So this is basically, guys, saying the only way I wouldn't do this is if, right, I or, or I would keep it a secret unless my coworker continued lying about it, right? So it's a, it's um, it's it's uh, it's exception, you know, it's an exception, right? It's you know, you basically you're saying with unless, guys, when you talk about unless, you're saying, hey, you know what? I might change my decision. Okay. Oh, sorry. Jesus, I would change my decision, right? I might change my decision. That's what unless is saying. You know, hey, you know, if that happens, I will change my decision, right? You have two option, option yes. Yes. Right? And so in this case, guys, I would go to the party, right? I wouldn't go to the party unless I were invited, right? So if I were invited, I would go to the party. Okay. okay, and the, if you want to change this, guys, if you want to instead of unless, guys, let's let's say that you don't want to use unless here. How can we use the same sentence, guys? Using if is that possible? I would keep it a secret unless my coworker continued yeah. lying about it. So how can we say the same idea, but using if this time? Maybe yes. only if. if. Only if yes. yes. Only if my car working. Let's see, right? I would so first of all we would need to say I mm. I wouldn't keep it a secret <gasps> if my coworker continued lying about it, okay? Now does does this portray the same the same idea. No. Hold, listen, right? I would keep it a secret, right? I would keep it a secret. 
unless my coworker continues lying, lying about it, right? So this is saying, hey, lo mantendría un secreto, right? Lo mantendría un secreto a menos que mi colega, right, or mi, mi compañero, compañero, continuara mintiendo sobre ello, right? But if this says, no lo mantendría un secreto si mi compañero continuara mintiendo sobre ello, right? Is it the same idea, yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes, it is the same yes. idea. So if you see, if you use if, you cannot do this, right? Lo mantendría un secreto si mi compañero continuara mintiendo sobre ello. Right? So mm -hmm. actually, so this is actually, and this is like the interesting part, guys. Because this is saying, you know, I will do this, right? Or I would do this, right? I would do this. If. If, right? If this happens, okay, this is what yeah. this is saying, okay, hey, esta es la condición, yo voy a hacer esto si, yo, yo haría esto si esto pasara, okay, if this mm -hmm. happened, I would do this, right, but in this case, yeah, it's different, right, so it's saying, you know, I wouldn't do this, yeah. I wouldn't do this, Right? If this happened, right? So when you use unless, guys, and this is this is what I want you guys to do my favor. Please mute yourself when you're not participating, all right? All right, because I hear la novela, I hear <laughs> right, I hear everything. Okay. So listen. So when we say guys, I would keep it a secret unless my coworker can continue lying about it. We're saying, I wouldn't do this, okay? This is something that you would not do if this were happening, okay? So unless, guys, works as a decision changer, right? So these two sentences, guys, these two sentences mean the same, right? But we're not using unless, okay? So that's how we use unless. We're going to use unless instead of if, but... It changes, guys. It's talking about, hey, you know, that your decision is going to change. Okay? All right. So let's have more examples, okay? Uh, you guys give me examples with, uh, with unless. Let's have some other examples. What else can we get? No. Tell me. I'm going to leave the example there. So go ahead. I'll be sick. Unless I stop eating a lot of pupusas. I'll be sick unless I stop eating a lot of pupusas. Very good. Now, this is correct if you're talking about first conditionals, right? This mm -hmm. is in first conditional. So, no, I need you to give me a sentence. I want mm -hmm. you guys to give me sentences in second conditionals, okay? Okay. Second condition. Mm -hmm. So what do we have? Teacher, I have one sentence. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I will continue to work at home. Yeah. Unless. I will continue working from home. Unless my company asks me to go back. Okay, very good. Unless my company asked, asked me. Repeat, guys. Asked me. Asked me. All right. I would continue working from home unless my company asked me to go back. <clears throat> right. Okay. Is this correct, guys? Yes or no? Yes. All right. Yes. Very good. Right. Yes. Not yes. Yes. Right. So let's analyze this, guys. Okay, so this is saying, you know, you know, you know, you know right? Um, so imaginary, right? So let's, we are imagining this, okay? So there is a guy thinking here, and he's saying, you know what? I will continue working from home. So he's thinking, right? There's this guy thinking over here. So he's saying, hey, you know what? Hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about what I can do later, right? So he's thinking, hey, 
you know, I would continue working from home. All right, all right. Let's see reason, okay, guys. Let's see reason. Okay, very good. All right. Uh, there you go. All right, so I would say, guys, I would continue working from home, right, unless my company asked me to go back. Okay? So imaginarily, he's, you know, he's imagining that he would continue working from home unless the company asked him to go back. Okay? So is this happening, guys? Is this is he actually, you know, working from home or not working from home in reality? Many people is um are working from home yet. So is he working from home with this sentence, guys? Do you think that he's working from home or he's not working from home from home? I think uh, the people who who is writing that is working from home. Um, no, he's uh, or she is not working from home. Exactly. Hey, if you if you didn't get the right, if you said yes, he's working from home, you didn't get the idea. Remember, guys, that we use second conditionals for what? What is the main idea of second condition? Hypothetical cases. Exactly, <laughs> right? Right? Situaciones de hipopotamos, right? Hypothetical <laughs> information. Right? Yes. All right. So imaginary situations, okay? So I will continue <clears throat> working from home. Again, is the person talking, guys? Is the person saying, I will continue working from home? Working from home? Working home? Mi pregunta, guys. Con esta oración que dijo, esta persona trabaja o no desde casa? Actualmente. Yes. yes. Mm -mm. She working the home. No. No, no, no. It's conditional. No. So it's imaginary. No. Okay. Con well, continuous. Yes. Continuous. I would continue. Continuaría. But, but it, it means Continue. that no, no Spanish, no Spanish. Okay, all right. Yes, lo voy a aplazar, right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> all right, no, okay, right. No, there there are ways in which we can understand this. Okay, let's let's give it another look, okay? Because I think everybody is in chivalating right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. <laughs> I, I will continue working from home unless my company asks me to go back. Unless what, teacher? Unless. My company asks me to go back. So. Uh, what about unless, it? Unless why? 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 So, guys, <laughs> my question Let's say it's a guy, right? And his name is uh his name is Lazy Lazy Berto. Okay. So Lazy Berto guys is sitting, you know, on his desk typing things like you do. Right. So he look he looks like he's playing the pen, right? Oh, and, and he sits just exactly in the same way we sit, guys. <laughs> right? Isn't that how we sit? Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. So, you know, so this is him, right? This is what he's currently doing with his life. He might not feel motivated, you know, to continue working, right? So anyways, this is, this is me right now, right? Teaching English. <laughs> no. All right. So this is, this is my desktop, guys. 
All right, let's do this as fast as possible. Okay, so we have a computer here, you know, a nice screen, right, or whatever. And we have our table over here. Yeah. This is a magical table that stands with one. <laughs> You're sitting on, on air. Yes, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna draw a chair here, right? That's how I sit in real life, okay? I'm I'm not uh, using yeah. any chairs, okay? I'm sitting like that, you in know. That air. Yes, <laughs> it's in the air. No, I of course I have a chair, right? So I have a chair like this. We're gonna draw we're gonna draw a happy chair here, right? Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. This is de las iglesias de plastic, all right? Very good, guys. So <laughs> All right. You so know it's very, very good. Yes. Uh, okay. So, anyways, right. So, anyways, so, so this is, guys. This is okay. This is, this is, this is me right now. Okay. So when I say, guys, I will continue working from home unless my company. Why do I have an eye? A, a, a Y here. Uh, unless my comp. Oh, my. 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 Why? My. My. The mm -hmm. M wasn't working, right? Unless my company asks me to go back, okay? So, in this case, guys, am I working from home, yes or no? Yes. You work in your home. Okay, according to the, guys, according to the sentence, not not real life. No. According to the sentence here, no, guys. No, <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. I will continue is you are in... In this moment, you guys, work. I'm gonna ask people who has their that's camera, real people who have their camera turned up. Okay, all right. So Daniel, if I say it, brother, this sentence, yeah. right? Do I is this person is this person here working from home? Yes or no? That's hypothetical. No, that's real. It's real. Yes. So the answer, guys, okay, does, does, uh, does, 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 what was yes. his name, guys? Does. Does, el peor es nada, right? Peor es nada, <laughs> right? That's <laughs> David. That's David. David, am I, am I el peor es nada? Oh, my God. I didn't know that. No, no, come on. It's not el peor es nada. He's called David, not pure is not for mom. That's Chayon. Oh, All right. So does does it pure is nada, right? Does it pure is nada? All right. Or actually is, right? Is what, what the hell is. Is el pure, el pure is nada working? From home? Yes or no? Final answer, guys. In this yes, sentence. In hypothetical yes. situation, yes. Yes, he is. Yes. Okay. No, guys. Oh my God, you're saying hypothetical. Guys, in this sentence. No, it's not. Oh, hypothetical. That's real. It's real. Yes. It's real. Yes, he is. All right. So he says, I, I will continue. continue working from home unless my company asks me to go back, right? Okay. Well, so now he's, he's working so, in this company, but the from home. Okay. All right. So, yes. Right, very good. So yes, so so that is true, guys. Right. I will continue working from home. I will continue working from home. So that means that yes, he is working from home, right? He's yeah. working from home, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, he is. So he's working from home. Yes, he is. Yes. Yes, he is. Right? And he will and, and he will stop working from home. And he will continue working from home, right? Mm -hmm. Unless the company asks him know. not to, right? Yeah. But we can say he will I will continue working from home if my company, you know, still wants me to, right? We can say yes, that. Okay, so we can say essentially, yes. right? Yes, exactly, right? So in this situation, guys, yes, in this sentence, right, we can understand 
that El Peor is Nada is working from home. Now, I will ask you again, in the second example, I would continue working from home. I would continue working from home. It's a probably. Unless my company asked me to go back. It's a probability. Is this person working from home currently or not? Mm, no. <laughs> Do you all agree, guys? Is this person not working from home? No. No, he is in work. No, he's not, no. right? He's not working from mm -hmm. home, right? Mm -hmm. He's imagining, right? In this, yeah. in this scenario, guys, he's saying, you know, Continuaré trabajando desde casa, right? So it means, hey, yo todavía continuo, right? Continuaré trabajando desde casa, a menos que la compañía me pida que regrese, right? Yes. Okay, so that means, but in this case, it's a continuaría, ese ia, right? Continuaría so, trabajando desde casa. Eso quiero decir que si yo digo continuaría, ¿soy o no estoy trabajando, guys? No. No, no right? No. I would continue. Yes, I don't. Oh, unless my company asked me to go back, right? Continuaría trabajando desde casa a menos que la compañía me pidiera que regresara. And sometimes we may be to, uh, you may be to work in this company. In the other time. Okay. All right. So that's, okay. So guys, I, I wanted you to understand the, the biggest difference, right? When we say I would continue working from home, I am not working from home currently, right? I already mm -hmm. quit perhaps, right? Unless my company asked me to go back, okay? So maybe they they fired me and I would go back, you know, okay. to working from home. So I went back, you know, um, I went back to, to the company perhaps, right? I'm not working from home anymore, right? So I work. I'm working currently for the company, right? But in this case, guys, the unless the, the company asked me to go back, in this case, we're saying that the company will might ask this person to go back, right? To go back to yes. working from home, not to go back to the company because this person is already in the company. Got it? Mm -hmm. Very big difference, okay? In the first, yes. in this example, guys, in this example, the company is asking you to go back to the company, right? Yes. No. yes. Very good. In this example, the company is asking you to go back where? Okay. I, well, the company, imagine, right? Like, uh, like um, might be asking you to go back where? Back to the company. Back, back where? Ah, the back company. home. Oh, back guys. Home, teacher. Back home. Right? Back home. Guys, okay, very good. So listen, mm -hmm. my comp, right? Unless my company asks me to go back, okay? All right, this is what I needed to understand, okay? The company, right? Going. This is like going back, right? To the company, yes or no? The company, yes. Okay, yes. very good. So far, so good, guys? Todo el mundo aquí okay. claro que la compañía en la primera oración, guys, en la oración de abajo, me está pidiendo que regrese. A menos. Eh, o sea, a, lo haría a menos que la compañía me, me pida que regrese a trabajar con ellos a la compañía. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ok, in the second sentence, guys. La compañía me está pidiendo, o sea, me pediría imaginariamente que regresara a trabajar a la compañía. Yes or no? <laughs> Tell me. Oh. All right, so lo voy a poner más fácil. Mm. Here you go. I would continue working from home, right? Estoy trabajando de casa o no? No. Yes. No. 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 I would no. 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 But I would not. Guys, ¿por qué diría continuaría si yo estoy trabajando de casa, right? No, of course, si yo digo continuaría trabajando de casa, ya no trabajo desde casa, got it? Uh -huh. No, para la compañía, en la compañía, right? Yes. Okay. Y si yo digo a menos, right? Unless my company asked me to go back, to go back where? To the company or to my house? To the house. To my house. house. Exactly. To the house. In this case, guys, this going back yes. 
right? Going back to your house, house. okay? Your house, yes. All right, so big difference, guys, okay? Big difference yes. between the two sentences, okay? Ah, en esta oración, si la compañía me pidiese, right? Me pidiera que regresara a la casa, right? Y en esta es si la compañía me pide que regrese a la compañía. Very big difference. If you use first conditional and second conditional, guys, the meaning completely changes, right? Because we're talking about an imaginary situation versus a real situation, correct? Yes. We get it now? Yes. yes. All right. Thank Very good, you right? For, make right? Us, for, make us, for making us think, okay? All right. Very good. Todo lo voy a encarar en my C, all right? Guys, aquí, aquí donde me ven y todo, una vez mi mamá me encuentra en my Yes, I, I understand. To me and, and, and my sister. In Corcholata, teacher. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. my God. That's no. horrible, man. Did your no, mom do I, that to you? Sergo is my CEO, right? Yes, yes. Sergo, yeah. Well, it was rice. I think it was rice, not, not, you know. Yeah, it was oh. rice. Well, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's, those are old school punishments, you know. Anyhow, um, all right, very good, guys, very good. So, so that's guys. Okay, so those are all right. That's the difference between you know using unless with second conditionals and using unless with first conditionals. Okay, all right. So I want you guys to give me two examples. Well, actually, okay, no, you know you're gonna do two things. Okay. You're going to give me, because I want you to understand the difference, okay? You're going to give me okay. two examples with a second conditional using unless and two examples with a first conditional using unless, okay? Because I want you to understand the difference. And you're going to give me the example, and you are going to explain it to everybody, okay? We're going to give you five minutes to do that, okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen from the Flood Universe. Yeah. Let's go.
Right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what we got, okay? Let me raise this here so you can show me your examples. Hey, do you like my drawings? Cool, huh? Yes, of course. That's nice. All right. Right. You practice a lot, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Only when I teach. No, no. I'm, I'm bad at drawing. Don't worry. All right. So... All right, so who wants to give me your example, one example in second conditional and one example in first conditional, and I want you to explain it to me. Okay, teacher. Cool. Go on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will have more milk. I would, I would have. Have. More milk production 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 unless I bought more cows unless I bought more cows. Okay, so let's analyze this. So according to your example, well let's everybody let's analyze this. Do you currently have a good amount of milk production, yes or no? Mm. That's why I wanted you to give me this example so we can, so we can fight. The point is that we fight, guys. <laughs> what was the question, sorry? And let's change this, I would get more milk production unless, my question guys, does he currently get a good amount of milk production? Production. So does Luis currently, currently get a good amount of milk production? Yes or no? No. 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 Okay, and no. Luis, Luis, according according to what you wanted to say here, do you currently get a good amount of milk production? Yes or no? Yes. All right, guys. Right. Because uh, he hasn't bought. Uh, no, 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 no. Vamos a ir hasta que entendamos esto. <laughs> So we're gonna stay here forever. All right, so don't worry, don't worry. Yes, I will, I will, guys. Shh, relax. You need to understand this first, right? Do you want to learn? Yes. Do you want to learn? All right. We want. So, guys, okay, right. Listen, I I really want this example, Louis. All right. According to your example, do you currently get a good amount of milk production? Yes or no? According to this first clause. Yes. No. 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 So listen, this sentence doesn't make sense. And this is why. You're saying, you know, so this is this is reality, right? Reality is according no. to this sentence, right? Reality is in the first clause, right? First clause. Okay. What is the reality in the first clause, guys? Right? It's a possibility. I would get more milk production, right? So he doesn't get good milk production, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. La verdad, de acuerdo a ese ejemplo, es que él no produce su, su, este, una Mas. cantidad more. buena de, de leche, okay? More, more. Yeah. No, right? More. So... And then he says, unless I bought more cows, okay? So basically, you know what? What is the what is the exception, okay? The exception he needs according to more. this, according to this is that, you know, the exception is, you know, that 
He would need more to buy cow. more cows, right? More cows. So listen. So let me ask you something. How does this make sense? Okay, ahorita no tiene buena producción, right? Uh, no tiene buena producción de leche, right? Right? A menos, right? Unless, unless he bought more cows, right? So, so, so let's, well, all right. So let's see, guys. So does this, does this make sense now? Okay, he's saying, he's saying this, right? He's saying, and I'm saying in Spanish, guys, because, I think it's the, the fastest way for, for you to understand this part, right? It says, Ten, obtendría más producción de leche, right? Obtendría. Si ese obtendría significa que ahorita no lo obtiene, right? Yes. A menos que, right? Comprara más, oh. más, a menos que comprara más vacas. Okay. okay? Yes. So uh -huh. eso es lo que yo no entiendo, right? Because, Shouldn't it be, I wouldn't get more milk production, right? No obtendría más producción de vacas a menos que comprara más vacas. Wouldn't that be like more, wouldn't that make more sense? It's, it's unreal. The, it's hypothetic. Yes, but I think, I think the confusion is here because he wants to say, I will get more, right? I will get more milk production unless... No, this is fine, right? Because it would be, I won't get more milk production unless I buy more cows, right? That would be the exception. I would get more milk production unless I bought more cows, right? Now, here, guys, this is the problem. Because here, this should be substituted by if. Now, that makes sense, right? Ah, obtendría más producción de leche si comprara más vacas, right? Yeah. Got yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Right? But but if we change this for unless, right? Yeah. A menos que comprara más vacas, right? You can, yes. No, hold on now. No. In this case, wouldn't it be better to say I wouldn't, wouldn't. get okay. more milk production unless I bought more cows, right? Okay. No obtendría más producción de leche a menos que comprara más vacas. Now, yeah. this makes sense, right? Esto tiene más yes. sentido ahora, ¿sí o no? Okay, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. yes, teacher. All right, so your sentence, the way yes. in the, the way you portrayed your sentence, right, you would, you you need to use if, not unless, okay? So, guys, we ran out of time. This is a very interesting topic because it makes us fight a lot, right? I'm kidding, guys, we're not fighting. Okay. All right, so, anyways, I do have another class, guys, in a couple of minutes, so let's go over the answers from the platform real quick, all right? And tomorrow, we're gonna continue with this topic and I'm gonna make you practice, okay? I promise okay. you will all understand this. Guys, necesito que estudien esta parte, guys, because una hora no es suficiente para explicar eso. Necesito que verdad lo estudien, okay? All right. Okay. okay. All right, so it's in the platform, by the way. Yes. So guys, which one do you need? Read quickly. You got three minutes. Only the section four. Section four, right? Yes. We're doing section four. Don't go, don't tell me section four. three, four, right? Section four. four. So which one do you need? 4.2? Four point two? Four point I'm gonna give you the, a, num the, the answers here. The number three. All of them, right? Yes. All right, can you see the answers? By this time tomorrow, June will have been traveling for 24 hours. I'm gonna see if I can take a screenshot, guys. Just take a screenshot yeah. and send it to the group. Yes. Ready? Yes. Ready? Okay. Ready. Ready. All right. Uh, another one. Please. 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 Final. Huh? This one too. Four point please. six. Yes, please. All right. So this is four point six, right? Take a screenshot here. Oh, hold on, hold on. The answers. <laughs> Take a okay. screenshot here. Oh, but this one is easy, guys. I got it. Okay, now take a screenshot here. You got it? Yes, I got it. All right, very good. Uh, 4.7, we're good. 4.10, no. no, we're good, right? No. Only those, right? Yes. 
And then we have the final assessment. Uh, yeah. No, you're no. number three in the second part. Yes, okay, very, all right, very good. So take a screenshot. That's it. I got it. All right, and take a screenshot now. Oh, in the first yes. one, right? Take a yeah. screenshot again because I didn't show the first one. Yes, I got it. All right, very good. And what no. about this one? This one too? The three. Number three. All right, so fill in the blanks, right? Take a screenshot. All right, take a screenshot. Okay. Okay, you got it? Yes. All right, and take a screenshot. Got it? I got it. Yes. All right. Yeah. Beautiful job, guys. Beautiful. All right. So guys, I give you I give you I give you the answers. All right. Come to class because we still need we need we still have one more week after this one, right? This is the third week. So just because you finish the platform, don't stop coming. Because otherwise, how are you gonna learn, right? Yes. Right? Yeah. So anyways, guys, I gotta okay. go. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. See you. See you. See you. See you.